Number 12 is Walker Probalkian from Arizona. Second matchup, which is our number five seed, Colin Tang from Washington against our number 12 seed, Walker Probalkian from Arizona. All right. Walker, we'll start with you. If you could tell us where you go to school and what grade you're in. I go to Sonoran Science Academy Broadway in Arizona, and I am an eighth grader. Excellent. Walker, it says here that you actually have several attire collections. Uh, one is belts. You collect, uh, you've made it through several uh, rounds in Taekwondo, and you're a black belt in Taekwondo. Uh, yes. Excellent. And it says you also have a t-shirt collection. How many shirts do you have? Uh, a lot. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm happy we were able to help you add to that collection this week. You got some yesterday, and you just got another one today for being in the countdown round. Walker, if you could test your buzzer, please. Excellent. All right, then we are all set to go on to the first question of our matchup. And our first question is, for what positive integer n are the quantity 6 plus 4 root n all over n and 6 minus 4 Walker or I'm sorry, that is not the correct answer. And the quantity 6 minus 4 root n all over n reciprocals. Colin. 2. 2 is the correct answer. So Colin leads 1-0 as we head into the next question of our matchup. And our next question is, the graphs of y equals 5 and y equals x. Walker, six. Six is the correct answer. So we are tied at one apiece as we head into the third question of our matchup. And our third question is, the length of a rectangle is twice its width. Walker, four. Four is the correct answer. So Walker leads two to one as we head into the fourth question of our matchup. And our fourth question is, if a to the b equals two to the 120, where a and b are positive integers, what is the least possible value of a plus b? Colin. 46. 46 is the correct answer. So we have a tie score, two apiece, as we head into the fifth question of our matchup. And our fifth question is, two ribbons of widths 4 millimeters and 12 millimeters are laid on top of each other, intersecting to form a parallelogram, shown here shaded gray. What is the perimeter of the parallelogram in millimeters if its area is 60 square millimeters? Colin. 40. 40 is the correct answer. Which means that Colin has won the matchup. Congratulations. Thank you, Walker.